Saturday's great for Party Central. Typical Monday. We'll t take a left, take a left. We're gonna go up to my old dirt, actually. That's my old stoop. That's where I used to sit and smoke cigarettes and uh, hang out. The music may be bright and bouncy, wow! but the backstory of the man behind it is anything but. At what point did you end up in foster care? Um, I was about eight years old. There were a couple families I spent like a year with that was like, like really making a connection and stuff, but I, I don't know, I was just living too fast for them, so. When you say you were living too fast for them, it means at some point they said, we can't handle this? Yeah. Uh, and were you getting arrested? Yeah. For? For stupid <laughs> like violating probation and like just like constantly like going out and like, I don't know, drugs and stupid stuff, you know, regular kid stuff. So are you in contact with your biological family at all? Have they, do they know about your record? Nope. Nothing. Mm -mm. Mama, if you're out there. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we are going to let off some fireworks in the park and then probably to a party. Oh. Ah! So to say you had a rough childhood seems like a real understatement. Yeah. <laughs> sort of, yeah, I guess. But it was a lot of fun, too, in different, um, yeah, at different times, you know? Like, I don't know, I had like the freedom to just like do whatever the hell I wanted, you know? Right, but I would imagine there's some loneliness that comes with, from yeah, not it, having a set family. Yeah, it, it was pretty lonely, but now I got these guys, so. When I was like really young, I like uh, used to wish I was Roy Orbison. Oh, I'll play all the hits for you. Wait, I'll take my cell phone. And I, I just thought I was going to be a rock star one day. I was going to write like songs and you know make big hits and stuff. Dom met his future bandmates while living in one of the rather grim boarding houses that dot downtown Worcester, Massachusetts. <laughs> All room. right, here we go. And just lived in one room on a floor with two other uh, drug addicts. And, uh, yep, there's three floors of that happening. Pretty much what happened was I got a cat, my bochicha, and um, the landlord told me, you know, it's either you or the cat. And I took a good look around and I said, I don't want to live here anymore. So, bochicha and I moved out, moved in with some cool kids. We decided to, you know, do a DJ thing with Bobby, the drummer. Then shortly thereafter, you know, we met like probably late December, like uh, early January, wrote the song Jesus, and then we decided to make it a real band, and uh, that's how it came together. months after that, added Cosmo for like 80% because uh, he can like shred like the wind. Uh, met him at a honky tonk in Brooklyn. He was, he was getting tossed out. He was being rowdy, pulling out his peener. Met him on the street and I said, hey, I, I just, I'm just vibing this dude. And then it just turned out, wow, this kid like really can rip on the guitar. that the stuff you were making was actually good? Uh, when people started buying us drinks and when, um, I don't know, when we started getting shows and people were requesting us to play places. Dom, which by this time was the name not only for the front man but also for the entire band, put out their first EP last summer. They started generating positive chatter on blogs right away and were courted heavily by major labels even given a chance to record with the rapper Gucci Mane. So what's next for you guys? You're going to make a full-length album, I would imagine? No, we're not going to do full-length. You're not? No. 
because it, it just doesn't make sense. Like nowadays, um, nobody has the patience to listen through 14 songs. Nobody has 14 good songs, you know. And um, it's like a like Cosmo put it, it's a singles market, you know. So I think the best way to go about it is just to continue to write music and um, have like everybody change with you. Speeding in my neighborhood. <laughs> Wait, no. right I'm gonna nail him. <laughs> People dug the last ones. They just cooked up like over a period of three months, and hopefully they'll really like the new stuff that you know put a little bit of extra time and new thought into. down a little bit, do you think? If you didn't have this, where do you think you'd be? What do you think you'd be doing? I mean, we've got hopes and, and dreams, but... Uh, Can I ask what those are? Well, like, um, it would be nice to make a lot of money and um, to, you know, tour the world and uh, have nice homes and money to throw around, you know? You're not supposed to say that if you're in a band. You're not supposed to say, say we want to be big. What? <laughs> I thought that's the whole point. <laughs> that's stupid. Anybody who like claims that they're not in it to get big is like a total liar. Or they're in denial. Because that's what it's all about. You're putting yourself on a stage because you want to like, you know, uh, share an art a form with like somebody. You want to like, you know, and you want to get paid for it, you know? You want to be big. You want to be a star.